Lockdown. Do you remember? Have you ever thought about how time passes? Just like that. Blink once, and eighteen months of our lives have passed by, spent in isolation, away from a pandemic that rages on even now. Our daily routines never grounded to a halt, and even then we continue onwards. And I'm here to take a record of my own. So where do I start? Imagine this is a roadmap to my life, beginning here. I enter from tree and ending here, where I possibly graduate. This linear graph will be what most students would consider to be a normal school in life. This point over here represents the beginning of lockdown, and this is what it looks like now. First and foremost, I understand that all I can share are anecdotes, my own personal experiences, and would that be my experiences with videography, wearing a mask, online schooling, photography, ordering online. There is no way that I can just decide to talk about them all. I would love to, but this is a documentary, not a podcast. However, with the limited time that I have to talk, I can find something common in between them all, and that is the knowledge that I obtained. If I had to summarize my lockdown experience into the most simple, unapologetic sentence, it would be: my room, online school, Discord, friends, family, my dog, this bed, this chair. Staring out this window at night. Got the gist. Good. If you have seen the chart from earlier, this lockdown has radically impacted our lives, both literally and figuratively. Nobody really knows when exactly it will all end, or it will just not end and stick to us indefinitely. I entered the lockdown scene thinking it was only something that was temporary. It was only after the second month, however, that I realized we were all in for the long haul. All the plans that we had for the year had to be changed, and just like that. We were thrust into the lockdown. The entire world had to wake up to this reality that it wasn't just simply another flu season. It has forced every single one of us to adapt, adapt, and adapt, including me. There's this adage that life always finds a way. It's probably only because of this resilience that we've existed for this long. And so, it was time for us to live out the new normal. And oh, so much has changed since then. It feels as if this distance of 18 months is only parted by a single day. You will soon realize that life hasn't changed much at all. The uniqueness. The novelty of the situation, it all only became a new schedule, isn't it? I've always had issues with my memory, or lack thereof. Even if it's just remembering the events of a single day, it will still get me disoriented. One of the multitudes of the skills that I've learned during the lockdown was scheduling, journaling, and wherever else that ink can dry. And throughout the lockdown, I've started to keep an extensive journal. It started as a way for me to keep track of my time, but eventually, I started to use it to audit my own life. Keeping myself on track on the things that I need to do. Whenever I go through my writings, it is as if peering into a past version of myself. We're always a different person throughout a single year. We're always changing. This book helps reminds me that the days are passing by the individual second, seconds which I won't get back. I realize I desire a way to remember the events of my life as they happened, and that brought me to photography. It was during the months at home that I started to keep an archive. An archive of my life as it happens, in the form of depictions that we call photos. It was also during this time that I realized how much memory is meant to me. You could say, from all the passions that I've held, from music to robotics, photography was just the one that clicked inside of me, and it slowly overwhelmed every single other passion, being the main one that I enjoy doing the most. I retired from robotics not entirely from choice. The lockdown had a part to play in that. As for music, you know, the most of my time was already spent doing photography, and I couldn't exactly like practice instruments and do photography at the same time. Eventually, the passion just fizzled out, and with one thing leading to another, I'm sitting here, recording myself with a camera that I've taken nearly fifty thousand photos on. It would be quite depressing to say that lockdown has ended all the passion that I used to have, but it also helped me realize my true passions, which lay in photography and videography, and for that, I'm happy. You know. With all this time that you spend at home, you eventually start pondering about your connections with the people in your daily life—the friends, the families, 
but people is that you can't simply meet. No. Regarding friends, the only way that I've been able to contact them was through online methods, be it through Discord, Messenger, or any other online app. It simply became the norm to just hop on a call and chill with your friends while you're in a class. Regarding family, in a normal day, I've never actually taken out the time to think about my relations with the people who are closest to me in my family, which are my mom and dad. Between us, it's more of a you do you, I do my relationship. And it also started to let me realize that I've never actually cherished the time that I have to spend with my own family members. It all just felt so common. It was something that just happened every single day. As a final closure, I only have one topic left to talk about. And it is about time. As I'm recording this, it's only gonna be a few more months before I return to school, back to the pre-COVID normal, or maybe going back to classes, meeting friends, all of that. And without a doubt, don't waste your time. It doesn't matter how old you are, what kind of situation you are in, this time that you have, that you're living right now, is limited. This lockdown has disoriented us greatly. It has pushed all of us off of our normal tracks, and it is up to us to find the strength to keep on walking. This world will eventually return to its normal, and by then, we have to be prepared. The day that it is announced on the news is the day that the world starts running on its feet again. And just like time, it doesn't wait for it to make a decision. Life finds a way forwards and moves on. Do you remember the time as a child? where you wished for an endless summer break. Well, be careful what you wish for. You're living that reality right now.